Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I have the Blue Sky Noteworthy Planner to share with you. Their Noteworthy line is a new line and one of my subscribers actually requested this. And I will go ahead and say with review requests, now I get way more review requests than I could ever honor. So I'm so sorry if I never get to the planner you request. And some requests, of course, I can't get because the companies just won't send me one. I'm not big enough um, or they don't give out planners. But this is one I could get and fit in this review. So I'm happy to help when I can. This Blue Sky line, I asked them if there was any certain stores that they are carried in. And right now they said just bluesky.com. That's what I was told. So if you find them in an Office Max or Office Depot or another store, let me know down below in the description box so we can share that with everyone. Um, but when I asked my contact at the company, they just said bluesky.com. I do know that Blue Sky bought Day Designer. Um, so I don't know what all is happening with that. But that's all I know that I can share with you guys. So let's take this off. I just wanted to leave this on to show you what it looks like when you get it. Like I said, Noteworthy is their new line. This is a planner that's academic year 2018 starting in July to June of 2019. It has a lot of notes pages, hence the name of this line, Noteworthy. Okay, so there are 52 um, note pages, one per week, and I will show you those. And then in the very back with a tab, there is 60 additional blank note pages. Well, not blank, they're lying, but. So there is a huge amount of note taking space in this planner, which you have weekly layouts and monthly layouts in. So let's go ahead and get into this. Your cover is a really good, um, pretty hard plastic cover. And here um, is a really interesting thing about it. You can open it up and you could take out the paper that it comes with and you could slip in anything you want in here and make a customized cover. So that is actually a really cool feature, I think. I love their O-ring, it functions perfectly, it's not too big, nothing ever gets stuck on it. This is a very lightweight planner. If you need to throw it in a bag or a backpack, I think the cover will hold up well because the back is a very really good tough plastic too. So let's get into this. Your first page is not laminated, but almost laminated. It's tough. It's It's got a coating on there to be able to take you looking at your monthly, um, or I'm sorry, your yearly overviews a lot. So that page is made tough. You have a good pocket here made of kind of a, um, a thicker card stock. These are just my notes for my video in there. I storm with the planner. Um, your paper on this planner is an 80 GSM. So it that equates, if you're wanting to know the pound weight, to about 55 pounds. So it's 80 GSM. Now their tabbed pages are thicker. Their tabbed pages are 120 GSM. And um, it's $19.95 for this particular planner right now. I think for what you get and the paper quality that the price is... Um, is right on with what you're getting for quality wise here. So of course you're not getting that super thick premium paper, but you're not paying a premium price either. So when you first open it, you have a quick reference information right here. So it's just your personal information in case your planner's lost. If you wanna write emergency contacts or friends and family's phone number, you have that quick reference page. You do have two pages for contact information if you wanna write names phone numbers, addresses, um, there's a two page spread there. Of course, if you don't wanna use it for that, you could use it for anything you want. You could jot down movies you wanna see, books you wanna read, but you do have a huge amount of note pages in the back, so I'm not sure that you even need to utilize these if you don't wanna use them for contacts. Then they throw in some extra monthly spreads for you. So if you're getting this planner early, which May has already passed, we're into June, we're nearing the end of June now, um, but they throw in the month of May 2018 and June 2018 in case you got this planner and wanted to, you know, start planning early. Then your tabbed month starts on July. And I want to show you up close the monthly so I can show you some details in it. So 
they number your days, what day number we're on out of the year. So like July 1st is day um, of the year 182. And then you have 183 days left, they're saying. And so the next day is 183 and you have 182 days left in the year. So that's really interesting because I've seen a lot that tell you what day number you're on in the year, but I don't know that I've seen where it tells you how many days are left in the year. So that's the day number you're on and the days that are left in the year. And then you have, of course, your big day of the week. I like the fonts that they've used. I like that the holiday is written really small and doesn't take up too much of your box. So that's the way your holidays are noted. Your days of the week are up here and you have a pretty big margin if you wanna use that for anything. You have a pretty big margin there. All right. Oh, and I also wanna point out, so this is a month with five weeks, but look, they left enough room on the page. You don't have any half boxes. I love that. I love that when planners are planned that way. So there are no half boxes on your page there. You have a little tiny note section here in which you would have to write pretty small, but writing with a like 0.38 tip pen is a really good way to write, be able to write neatly and small. Then you have your previous month view and your next month view, always on your monthly calendar here. Then you go right into your weeks and you will see I did a pen test on the back of this page. So we will also talk about that. But your weeks are all laid out where you have a Monday through Sunday week. Oh, and let's note, the monthly spread starts on a Sunday. So you guys know the flagship day designers, the monthly starts on a Monday. But that is not the case with the blue skyline. Um, this starts monthly on a Sunday, like it's typical in America. And then your weekly starts on a Monday. So you have Monday through Sunday. I really like their fonts, you guys. I just like the look of their font. You have a big margin up here, which you can also use for anything that you needed to label for that week, maybe, or maybe it's your goal of the week, or maybe it's, um, you know, a, a gratitude, something great that happened that week, but you do have a margin there to use. So it's just a horizontal look at your week, and then on the opposite side is notes for that week. So you have one note page that corresponds with all, each weekly page. You have a note section, a to-do section, and a goal section. And then you have a margin right there you could also use. Let's go ahead and look at the pen test. So I tried out all my normal pens. The paper takes pen really well. And like I said, it's 80 GSM paper. The tabbed pages are 120 GSM. You can buy these on bluesky.com. And the line again is called Noteworthy. They have used all throughout just these pastel blues and purples. And so it goes in kind of um, an ombre looking effect there with the tabs. I've tried all my pens. You can see what they look like on the other side. I would just say you probably don't want to use highlighters in this book. I mean, unless you don't mind the look of them. It did nothing bled through, nothing bled through the paper, but there is the ghosting there that you would expect with 80 GSM paper, and especially with the highlighter. So I would, I personally wouldn't use highlighters um, on this paper, but that's just me. So that's the way the highlighter looked. Here is some more pens I tested, and we also have like Paper Mate flares and like a dark blue color, um, which tends to soak into paper quite a lot. So let's look at the back of this page. And then those darker pens, that is what that's gonna look like. And there's your big highlighter. So like I said, I personally wouldn't be using highlighters in this book. And I personally would probably be using um, one of the pens that's a little bit um, thinner, like a Muji 0.38, because um, I just feel like that it takes really well to the paper and it shows through one of the least. So if you're using a thinner tip, to me, it goes less. Um, you can see here the ombre effect. You have the same thing on every page throughout, like a really light pink, a little bit like darker pink, kind of with lilac mixed. And then you have your um, pinkish purple dark right there. I really do like their color scheme. It's a pretty and really calming color scheme. So. That's how all your months are gonna be laid out. If you look at your monthly, you will see that the horizontal lines are purple, 
really light lilac. I shouldn't say purple. Um, they're that pinkish um, lilac color. But then your vertical lines coming down are gray. So that is how your monthlies look in here. And your tabs go straight to every month. So when you flip open, you will flip open exactly to that month right there. I actually think this is a great planner for if you have um, kids or middle school and um, a girl really wants to get started in a planner. This is such an affordable line to get started in and let her play around with it and you know, learn like what she likes to do in planning. So it's a really affordable way to get started in a planner. Okay, so this is the really cool part about the noteworthy line. You see this tab at the top. I love that because when your book is shut and you just wanna go straight to your notes really easily, it's so simple, that tab at the top. You just go to your tab and then you're at your notes section. And I can see this being really helpful to just, um, Scribble anything down. If you're in class and you need to jot a note when something's due or you remember something for your grocery list, right here, you have 60 extra note pages back here. And the, they're all lined. The top of every page says note it. And it just has the really pretty same coloring. It makes me think of the ocean. But it's just your note it pages all the way through, 60 pages worth. Then you have a holiday sheet, which is made out of that thicker um, and has a coating on it, so it will hold up really well. You have all the major holidays for 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021, all outlined right here. I love when planners come with this. And then on the back, you even have states, capitals, and time zones. So this is actually a great planner for a student to have as just you know a reference point. I just think that's a nice addition in there too. Of course, we all know we can Google this, but sometimes it's just nice to see something on paper and for um, younger kids or teenagers especially, I think it's just nice to be able to have this as a reference because I feel like they don't all know that really well. Um, my kids are sometimes online with people in um, other countries and so I've been teaching them about time zones. But So that's just a nice thing to have there. Well, I shouldn't say I've been teaching my teenager. He he knows about time zones. My younger son, my nine-year-old, I've been teaching about time zones. Okay, guys. So that wraps up the Noteworthy Planner. I just think it's a really good addition to the Blue Sky Line, adding something with a lot of note pages in it. And it's so portable. It's so lightweight, you guys. It is like, literally, it's five by eight. And it is just super lightweight. I think the cover is super durable. It covers all the tabs if you need to throw it in your book. I think it's a great little planner. And that's it for today. So happy planning, you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.